Hello guys, welcome. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. So what I've done so far is I have created 10 new records on this reservation table and that is for my upcoming reservations. So I have booked the similar people. I'm using the same contacts here and I'm creating a reservation for them and I'm leaving the status as upcoming because those reservations are in the future and I don't know until that date comes if those will be completed or those will be no show. So I've created 10 records using the similar contacts. And the other thing I've done is I have changed the status of few of these contacts from no show to completed and just to see how the results are going to vary. So your results and my results might be slightly vary, which doesn't matter. Okay. What matters is that prediction part. So let me show you what I've done here is so I have these total of about 10 records that I've created where the reservation is upcoming. The status of the reservation is upcoming. And let's say we have contact name here. Then we have is um, the status of the reservation. Uh, marital status and then let's say the reservation time uh, we have it and the reservation month we have it so these are some of the fields that we have and I'm going to see what all it is okay so Istabil is married these are the reservations and I've left the status of all these is upcoming okay reservation month for majority of them is November and for two of them is December so for these records, I want to predict what is going to be the status. Okay, right now, I don't know. And I have the status as upcoming. So either it should be completed or it should be no show. And I don't want to wait till that time. I want to predict it. And based on that, I will know how many people are coming. I can make arrangements for that. And also I can have that much food available based on those reservations. So what I'm going to do is we are going to go back to the Einstein prediction builder again. And uh, this is the second report that we are going to generate here. The steps are pretty much the same. And this time we are going to check if they are going to be completed. Okay, we are doing the opposite here. So here I'm going to do instead of no show, we are actually seeing the completed one. Okay, Einstein prediction builder. So we're going to click here and uh, new prediction here so we'll click on new and then what is the name reservation completed probability okay this is the name of my prediction and uh, to predict the score for reservation to be completed and that's it save and next here which object contains the records you want to predict it's the reservation object so we're going to choose the reservation here and then hit save and next and now it is asking us which reservation records should Einstein consider so I want it to consider all the reservations rather than segment of reservation so we'll leave it as all reservation because we only have 1006 or 1010 records so we wanted to have a good training data set which records are example of a yes outcome so yes outcome means which of them are completed so we have a status field and when the status equals completed, that means it's a yes outcome because we are predicting the probability of completed rather than the probability of no show. In the previous example, we predicted the probability of no show. Now we are predicting the probability of showing up to the reservation, which is completed. So that is what the records are example of yes outcome and which records are example of no outcome. So if their status is no show, that means they are the example of the no outcome. OK, so if it's going to be no show now, let's go ahead and hit the save and next here. And then we are asking which reservation fields are likely to influence your prediction outcome. Now, I don't want all the fields to be mattered. I can choose all the fields, but I know that if somebody has already been uh, have come to the previous reservation the more likelihood the likelihood of coming back to the reservation is going to be more right so the person if he is very time uh, punctual and he keeps up his reservation and in the past also his he has kept up those reservation that means the probability is going to be more so this plays a big role homeowner if he's a homeowner or uh, if he's not a homeowner that also plays a big role but i'm not going to choose marital status uh, plays a big role so I'm going to choose that occupation also plays a big role. OK, so that is what the uh, I am going to choose the fields. I can choose whichever I think holds the maximum weightage. I can choose those and uh, uh, that is it. So total reservation is another thing that 
uh, plays important the, how many reservation he has if he has done more reservation the probability of him showing to the reservation is also going to be more so these are certain fields i have selected and then i'm going to do save and next here and then it is asking which records do you want einstein to predict so the records where the reservation status is upcoming okay so we have given example records right example records are the records which either have completed status or which either has no show records okay right now we have those now predict all records that are not example records so example records will have those thousand records which are either completed or no show so let me give you a where status is equals to or we can say status in status equals to completed or status equals to upcoming okay how many records are there we have total of about 1728 records are there which either have a status of uh, completed or which either have a status of upcoming so let me go ahead and add the status field in here also so these are the records which either have the status of upcoming or they have the sorry not upcoming it is completed or no show okay so this is what i have done so either the example records will have either the status of completed or it will have the status of no show so i'm going to go ahead and export here and you can see we have total of about 1000 records where the status is equals to no show or some of them is equals to completed okay so what we have done is we have total of 1000 records now prediction that we are doing is on the records where the status is upcoming okay so let's see how many records we have total we have total of about 1010 records and out of those 1000 records are example records we want to use the 10 records that's where on which we want to do the prediction right so where status is equals to upcoming so that is what we have and we export it and this is these are the records on which we want to do the prediction so here we are going to say predict all records that are not example records what are example records example records are those which are either of the status of uh, no show or of the status of completed and we're going to select this one even if you choose this option and you manually say here uh status equals to no show uh sorry status equals to upcoming is going to be the same thing so we're going to just go with this one and there are 10 records found next now you have to name the score field okay complete probability score okay means what is the probability of somebody completing the reservation means coming up for the reservation and that is going to be the new field that will be created and right now this field doesn't exist in your uh system here that field is not there but once it has done your prediction and it will go ahead and get created and also after you have enabled the prediction that scoring will also happen okay so we'll go back here and we will save and next So prediction has been saved now we're going to build it so build click the build button and it's going to take about up to 24 hours so we're going to go ahead and hit, hit that build button here and then once this prediction is completed then you are going to see your prediction scorecard and then we will enable the prediction then the scoring will happen which i showed you so uh tomorrow i can show you more because tomorrow by this time it will finish and then i also have to enable it which is also going to take about couple hours maybe day after tomorrow i can give you the results of this one and use predictions in your workflow now based on your scoring you will know what is the probability of completing the reservation and what is the probability of no show at the reservation so this is another example that i have shown you where we are using einstein prediction builder it's going to take some time because the scoring is happening behind the scene yet okay and once the scoring is completed a new field will be created with the name of completed probability score and also after you have enabled that then the scoring of that will happen and this field will have some values which will predict your status okay if the value of this is more that means the probability of completing the reservation is more and if the value of this is less than 50 that means there is if there is a less chance of somebody showing up for that reservation okay so once the scoring is completed once we have enabled everything then we are going to see the results and i'm going to show you the results in the next couple of videos so stay tuned for that thank you very very much